Hi, I'm Lynn. And I'm Stuart. And we're High Five Pig. I usually do that bit. <laughs> no. I oh, I don't know. But there you go. Anyway, we're High Five Pig. I'm Stuart. This is Lynn. Yes. And we're here with the news. Yeah, and we've not been here for a couple of weeks, but we're going to tell you about that shortly. Yes. But we've got a lot of news coming up. What we've got coming we've up, We've got Lynn? news coming up from Audio Group Denmark, from Audio Vector, um, from Dan Clark Audio, from Bryston and PMC, yep. uh, from Lima, from Luxman, from Technics, Synthesis, Autophon, um, Yamaha, Frank Serblin. Yes, lots of stuff. Final audio. Loads of stuff. Loads and loads of Absolutely news. Absolutely loads up. of stuff. Um, so, here's the news. Audio Group Denmark brand Arvik has announced the launch of the Arvik SD880, the newest member of the flagship 880 series and the Danish hi-fi brand's first ever streaming DAC. It features an in-house developed and manufactured non-switching continuum processing DAC, advanced streamer technology, noise reduction technologies and a pioneering enclosure design. It's priced at US dollars or €67,000. AudioVector has launched the new AudioVector QR Special Edition loudspeakers, replacing the original QR range. Pricing remains the same as the standard QR series for December and will increase by 3% in January. PMC Distribution UK is introducing the Bryston BP19 analog preamplifier to the UK market. For the first time, the BP2 Phono stage circuit is available as an onboard option. The Bryston BP19 preamplifier costs £5,395 or £6,395 with the MM Phono stage or £7,395 with both the MM and MC Phono stage. The new Dan Clark Audio E3 is a complete redesign of the Ether C Flow closed back headphone with new features including Gorilla Glass 3 Cup. They cost £2,125 and in the UK are available through Electromod. Final has updated its flagship True Wireless earphones with the new Final ZE8000 Mark II. With Qualcomm Snapdragon sound support and improved volume, they cost £289 or $399.99 or €329.99. Euros. Made in Italy, the new Franco Serblin Accordo Goldberg loudspeakers are now available with matching stands. They feature a 29mm silk dome tweeter, a 180mm mid-bass driver and a solid walnut cabinet. They cost £8,888 per pair. The matching floor stands are priced at £2,798. The first new products from Welsh hi-fi brand Lima Acoustics' new Quantum range are now available. Featuring tech from the company's flagship Constellation series, the range has simpler casework and single transformers replace multi-transformers. The Lima Quantum Neutron preamplifier and Graviton power amplifier cost £1,500 each or £2,800 if bought together. The new Luxman C10X preamplifier is the Japanese hi-fi brand's new flagship, designed to perfectly match the reference Luxman M10X power amplifier. It features the brand's new Life's amplification feedback engine for the first time in a preamp. Available to order now, it costs £16,000. Musical Fidelity has unveiled its latest flagship products, the Musical Fidelity New Vista Vinyl 2 and the Musical Fidelity New Vista DAC. The new Vista Vinyl 2 Phono Preamplifier has a fully balanced and discreet design. The new Vista DAC features ESS Hyperstream 2 DAC chips and a discreet new Vista output stage. Available through Henley Audio in the UK, they cost £9,999 each. Autophon has introduced two new reference tone arms, the Autophon AS212R 9-inch model and the AS309R 12-inch. They're equipped with a universal connector and supplied with two counterweight sizes and a high-end autophon tone arm cable. Available through Henley Audio in the UK, they cost £2,799 and £2,899. Italian hi-fi brand Synthesis is launching a new 300B valve amp, the Synthesis FCO 300B amplifier. 
It costs €19,700 or $21,400 and is launching at the Taipei International Audio Show 2023 this weekend. The new Technics Cafe Kyoto follows the long tradition of Japanese audiophile bars, but with a modern twist. There is a DJ booth and reference system listening area, and the cafe serves light food, coffee, drinks, and at night becomes a bar-style restaurant. The cafe will regularly hold various music events, such as live performances, collaboration projects, and DJ performances. The Yamaha CDC603 5-disc CD changer allows you to change four CDs while the fifth is playing with their play exchange function or use the fully opening disc tray for changing five discs at a time. It also features the pure direct mode found in Yamaha amplifiers and receivers. The price is €599 or $549.95. All right, so that was the news that was. It was. Yes, it was. Um... As Lynn's just mentioned, or mentioned just before the news, we've been away in Toulouse visiting Metronome Callisto, or Callisto Metronome, whichever way around you want to say it. If you don't know the brand, you if you've been to any hi-fi shows, high-end hi-fi shows, you will recognise their uh, CD player particularly. It's a sort of weird. Yeah, distinctive looking. Yeah. Um, lots of acrylic and looking really, really different to anybody else's hi-fi to be fair and they've just announced their mantax DAC. DAC, yeah a um, reference DAC. so that's sort of why we were down there looking at that and it was really interesting we only spent the morning there but we uh, spent the weekend in uh, toulouse which we is a did. beautiful place if you ever get a chance to go to toulouse go it's brilliant especially at this time of year because there's christmas markets on and it's very festive but yeah I, I think the whole thing with the metronome has been that they're a french brand about 10 years old or the current owners have had it about 10 years i believe yes and very, 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 very high end. I think the design will, well, obviously it split people because when we put a picture up of the uh, turntable, uh, a few people said they didn't like the look of it. But I think most of the people that said it wasn't to their taste were obviously not in that market anyway. No. So there you go. We have also published this um, last few days our pick of 2023. We don't do this has been the best of basically because um trying to shoehorn something that is the best of whatever tiny little bracket that fits in with your advertisers um needs to be seen as best of uh doesn't really work for us so we just did what each of our reviewers and us have found the best over the year so that's been the ones that you've given editor's choice yeah. awards to hasn't it yeah and then all of the reviewers have picked out their favorite or couple of favorites depending on sort of how many reviews they've been doing but now there's the new award that our reviewers will give going forward called the editor's pick reviewers, reviewers pick sorry yeah so they will pick their preference out um going forward but because they hadn't done that for this year because it's a new award that we've introduced mm -hmm. they picked out their favorites from the year so there's a really interesting mix there of is stuff some really good stuff from in there. really really accessible and affordable gear to really really high-end stuff so it's really we've also mix. put our christmas guide out this week we have now it is a paid for guide and people do pay to advertise they in do this, but there is some really good stuff in there and if you're looking for any last minute sort of gifts for the music lover struck audiophile in your life, which is basically if you want to go out and buy yourself something. <laughs> this is an idea of what you can go out and this buy is an yourself. Idea, it is an idea of what you can go out and buy yourself. Um, some great stuff in there. I'll put a link to it down below and all the rest of it. Um, I always forget to say it. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Yes, and share. And share. That's the one. So there's not been masses of reviews, has there, this week? You've done no. Uh, we did the uh, ever solo DMP looks at the sheet A8. 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 That's a new one, isn't it? Completely brand new. It's brand new and ever solo. The last time we did a review of ever solo products, it was massive. Um, I think the UK distributors they just can't get enough of it. To be perfectly yeah. honest, it's just shifting 
in massive amounts yeah which is great to see uh, but yeah that's the only review that we've done we sort of i'm saying we're winding down <laughs> until the new year but we've got so much to do it's untrue uh coming sort of mid next week we've got the last edition of the year of not boring which is one that you don't want to miss it's there's loads of reviews in there there's loads of hi-fi stuff in there including something about scandinavian hi-fi which you don't want to miss but there's also lots in there about things throughout the years that have been banned it's a little bit controversial bound to upset some people bound to <laughs> bound to upset some people i'm bound to get letters that i shall ignore uh but there letters you go to the editor letters to the editor mrs uh, licorice from wet wang she's bound, she's to, be bound into, to write in bound to write in and maybe her husband no, he's away with uh, Michael Portillo at the moment. Is he? Yeah, the, uh, having the a trouser, <laughs> trouser competition. Some kind of European tour on trains where they compare oh, trousers. Right. Yeah, it's very interesting. I'm interesting. To believe. Anyway, this news, the news this week has been really interesting, and for me, there's been a couple of standouts. First of all, the new Lima kit, the Quantum Neutron preamp, and the Graviton power amplifier. 1500 quid each three grand for the pair in fact even less if you buy them together it's two eight so and these launched originally at northwest audio show 2022 was the first time they were seen um so they've been sort of teasing them and having them at shows but this is the first time they've actually put them out with the official pricing um the news story's got all the info on the specs and everything in there down below and they're an absolute Bargain. Yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, Lima Kit. Um, we've just actually bought um, one of their high-end CD players and I've been using their Element CD player for years and years and years. Um, it still works, it's still as good as new, but we needed something a little bit flashier got to a bit like that and so we've had their gear but right from the base level right up to the flagship constellation yeah, series big fan of their stuff very analytical uh which doesn't surprise me given that at least one of the guys is xbbc there the other news that was very interesting to me was because we're talking about going to japan sometime this next year aren't we lynette yes really want to go to japan. really want to go to japan <laughs> and technics have launched uh, a listening cafe yeah, it's kind of like the classic audiophile, Japanese audiophile cafe bar thing, but much more modern, as in it's got a DJ booth, obviously. I want to techniques. play in the DJ booth, please, Technics, because <laughs> I am practising very he hard. He is practising very hard, and he is very good, and he uses Technics daily. Yes. Um, I think they are actually Mark 7s they've got in the DJ booth. Are they? Yeah, and oh. then they've got um, a reference system with a listening space, and it's all very cool and sort of minimalist, and they make coffee and delicious things to eat and what have you so if we have a visit we'll put a stop to that <laughs> yes so the other news was the arvic streaming DAC. it's 70 grand yeah. sixty-seven thousand euros sd880 so that's part of the flagship arvic series of electronics but the cat's just come yeah to we're being meowed at but i apps we've heard this in the past and we've heard a lot yeah. of the uh, 800 series in the past stunning yeah. Just absolutely incredible. A lot of money, but hey ho. Talking a lot of money, well, it's not a lot of money actually, it's about 20 grand. Uh, is the new Synthesis 300B amp? You love a 300B amp, I love a 300B amp. Um, single ended, so it'd be about eight watts a channel, I imagine. 20 grand Synthesis made in Italy, great brand. Uh, everything that I've had the chance to listen to of theirs has been absolutely stunning. Really good. Yeah. And that's launching this weekend in Taipei. Um, there's two hi-fi shows in Taipei, which Jula is covering for us. He did one in the summer, which was at the same time as the Hong Kong show, and then organised by a different set of people in Taipei. There's one in December. Um, so that's where he is this weekend. And Synthesis there with their distributor. So, and that's where the uh, new 300B amp is launching. The other thing that caught my eye was the, what was the Bryston amp, uh, preamp, sorry, that you can have uh, moving magnet, moving coil, uh, phono stages added. I thought that was very interesting, about six grand, distributed in the uh, UK by PMC. And they've been distributing Bryston, who are Canadian, yeah. um, in the UK since the 90s. They have a very 
long working relationship. But I think no nonsense, built like a battleship. <laughs> um, and I think the fact that PMC are distributing them sort of says a lot about them. Yeah. PMC, professional monitoring company. Um, the, they're used throughout the world in uh, studios. So I imagine there's lots of Bryston amplifiers used in studios around the world as well. Yeah. So uh, I'd love to have a go with one of those. I've never heard them in the house, but I'm sure they're very good. The other thing that is, it's about 500 quid or something. Ah, yes. This, this... Yamaha? Yes. The... Five disc CD changer. Uh, we put the news up for this and it just went crazy it out did, of yeah. everything we've put news up about in the last couple of weeks it just went mad like people just discussing it about whether it was a good thing or a bad thing um i think it's great but yeah and people were saying well but some people were saying well in the age of streaming why would you need a five disc cd player and then some people were saying yes but so many people have got massive loads of cds massive collections of cds and they've kept them and cds kind of making a comeback now as well yep. so it seems like a good idea and it's quite nifty because you can either it can be playing while you change four of the cds or you can change all of them at once so i looked at the train i, I was trying to work out how that works and i couldn't work it's got it like out. a yeah but very very clever and 500 quid for a cd player that is a five cd changer sounds like great value to me and then there's the um new musical fidelity new vista yeah. Now, my first uh, proper bit of hi-fi was uh, Musical Fidelity. A Musical Fidelity, the preamp. And I had that with a, oh God, Crimson Electric preamp, uh, power amp. A lot of time for uh, Musical Fidelity. Uh, and in our pick of the year, Janine picked out their uh, new Vista. The 800.2 amplifier, wasn't it? Yeah. So... Yeah, so these are following on from that as, as flagship products. Through Henley Audio? Yes, through Henley. So, so yeah, they're, and they're pretty good. They're pretty good price, sort of just, well, it's 10 grand each. So yeah. um, so that's the Fonner stage in the DAC. Audio Vector, they've done some, it's not actually a new speaker. It's this QR special edition, which are available in Europe and everywhere else in the world, but the UK. Uh, at the moment, I think they've been in the UK from January. I think so, yes. So I think they're the same price as the old QR. Same price as the old, old series until January. It's sort of an introductory period, and they're replacing the original QR series, which we've reviewed here. I thought they were had absolutely the QR7. Yeah. Uh, really, the QR7s were a really good speaker. Up there with the Arete, I thought, mm. but for about five, six grand less money. Mm -hmm. So, very good. Uh, final, I've got some new earphones out. Yeah, and they're um, basically an upgrade of the um, flagship ones that I think Janine reviewed some months ago. Yeah, quite so, possibly. Yeah, they've sort of... And then the Franco Serblin acoustic uh, stand mounts. Yeah, very nice looking loudspeakers. Nine grand? Yes. Through Absolute Sounds in the UK? Yes. I've heard Franco Serblin floor standers a few times. I'm not sure if I've heard... Um, stand mounts before always very nice always very refined mm. always very high-end sounding loudspeaker uh, so i'll be interested to give those a bash yeah so that's about it really isn't it next week is our christmas special um <laughs> i'm preparing my outfit for that as we speak yes. uh, the mankini is not coming out uh, sorry to disappoint those while i remember we have one regular Scottish reader, uh, viewer, who's he's Scottish, but he's uh, based in, I think, Japan. So, hello. Um, so that was the news that was. That's us discussing the news. We are back next week in a festive kind of fashion. Yeah. Um, watch out in the midweek on Hi-Fi Pig for not boring magazine which will come out it's free blah 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 be a good christmas read when you've had enough of mince pies and relatives yeah when, you, <laughs> when you're sick to death of the relatives you can dip into uh, not boring or dip into uh, hi-fi pig the choice is yours um but that's it if there's anything that you particularly want to see on this show uh i call it a show every time i don't know if it is a show or not but if there's anything that you particularly want to see comment down below uh and we'll do what we can 
within reason. Um, no mankinis, no Michael Portillo trousers. No Michael Portillo trousers. The mankini is an option. Oh, God. <laughs> it's not really an option. Um, but that's your lot. Thanks ever so much. See you later. Bye.